And now, Splunk Cybersecurity 60 Second Charity Challenge. Remember the rules. You've got to get through an entire subject in 60 seconds or you donate to today's charity of choice. Good luck. So, this round, we're going to donate to the North Pacific Foundation, which is all about cleaning up the oceans, um, which will we'll have a good segue here of why it matters. But uh, this is a great group of people who have developed some technology to help clean up that, that patch of trash the size of Texas in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, as always, we try to donate to things that matter to us uh, as former sailors and just inhabitants of this big green blue ball in the middle of space. This matters. And also the tech is really cool. And it's a whole bunch of enterprising young folks who are doing some cool things. So that's the, that's the locate, or that's where the money is going to go to, uh, depending on who wins or loses. And the challenge is going to be discussing, um, should cybersecurity be on the global risk report? Yes or no. And if yes, uh, who has the most convincing reason? And as always, uh, Ms. Streetman will be our, our completely impartial judge. Impartial. Um, impartial and wonderful, you know, just glorious in all ways that matter. Um, and I believe, I think I won last time. So that could be Allegedly. Mick. Allegedly. So uh, uh, Drew, get ready with the countdown. Mick, I would love to hear your 60 seconds on should cyber be on the global risk report? All right. So World Economic Forum does a risk report and the cyber attacks are on it and good on them. So here's my thing. And I'm going to get semantic because I'm an infosec and that's what we do. Uh, risk is the potential for loss, damage or destruction of assets or data caused by a cyber threat. When you look in the grander scheme, you're going to say, why the hell is cyber on this report? But look out in the digital world we live in, this interconnected world. And, you're gonna, and the most important things on this list, things like climate action failure, extreme weather, loss of biodiversity, infectious diseases, and the erosion of social cohesion. Well, it might take a second and it might not, but it's real easy path to argument that cyber attacks and digital influence have occurred and continue to occur in all of these areas. So a threat is a process that magnifies the likelihood of a negative event, like the exploit of a vulnerability. So... Do I think it should be on the list? Yes, I do. But let's be honest, cyber attacks are well beyond risk. These are threats. And look, I got time to uh, say, Ardra, I'd like to apply for your vote because it was a better one. <laughs> now you're over. So, yeah. oh. See, you, you got cocky at the end, Mick. It's always your downfall. All right. So let's see how I do. Drew, whenever you're ready. There we go. Okay. A couple of Christmases ago, my father-in-law, who's a civil engineer, very smart man, uses computers daily for his job, asked me over some rum and eggnog if the Chinese are in his TV listening to us right now. His love for Fox News aside, this is a real risk from his perspective, and this is really different than the historical fear of computers destroying the world in the abstract whopper sort of way of nuclear warfare, right? It has gone from an imagined threat to a real impact on daily lives of citizens and civilians around the world. With cybersecurity issues now impacting the physical supply chains and ransomware outbreaks are causing actual deaths in hospitals due to the locked charts or disabled equipment, it turns out that instead of T2000, we end up having more of a Windows 10 sort of apocalypse, right? So defending our digital infrastructure is a matter of concern to every human on this planet. Computers act as a bedrock for our world, from harvesting food to water control to manufacturing medicine. And this means it's a risk to our society's status quo and is as important as climate change or overpopulation. Nice. Wow. That was both. Every week you guys bring it. You do such a good job. And I have to say, Ryan, Before I like... Before you say something here, Audra, remember, <laughs> don't be swayed by Mick lobbying and trying to guilt trip you because that's what he does. I know. Or Ryan being your supervisor. Children. Ask your children. <laughs> it's just guilt tripping. You know, Take it is important ocean. to keep it on time, right? And Mick, you did that this week. You did, had a great uh, overview for me. You explained why it was important. And um, I'm going to have to say you won this week. So congratulations. Well, and it wasn't have a guilt trip me. I did think that you had the best explanation. So It'll Audra, be we'll, we'll talk about your performance and improvement plan after this. Um, <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, thank you, Audra, for your, your judging your judging ways yeah. and uh, your five plus minutes.